right, I'm going to just go ahead and start. This is the new holiday catalog. I know most of you already know that this is already live. Um, Stampin' Anonymous tutorials for September are live now, so you can get these off of my blog. Um, they're $9.95 if you want to purchase them, but if you place an order with me, they are free. And then the new embossing machine is um, available now. It was September 1st, and so um, that's available. I know I've had a few people ask about this here lately, but yes, it is available. And I just got my magnetic platform, and oh my goodness, I love that thing. It's so different than the one I had for the Big Shot. This one is a full magnet. I'll show you. Um, yeah, I just need to cut one little thing out on the project today because I already cut one thing out. I should have cut them both out. It would have been so much easier, but <laughs> I didn't think about it. But I love this machine. And then they have the um, Get and Go. This is going to be leaving us. This is the promotion for anyone who wants to join. It is, um, you get an extra, two extra stamp sets. You get a pack of the rhinestone basic jewels and then you get enough card stock to make 16 cards so they're going to give you granny apple green and coastal cabana those are two of my very favorite uh, it's a really good deal it's 99 dollars to join you get 125 dollars with a product plus all this extra product so yeah it's a really good promotion so if you're going to join come join my team <laughs> I think we have a couple on here that are on my team. All right. So that's all the news today. So we are going to share the projects. This one is, we've been doing a lot for adults, I think. So this time I made it a little bit more fun. So this is the little box. It's just a little milk carton. And then here's the little card. This is a three by three. But I thought because the box is little, I would make a little card. So this is what I'm sharing. I love these little milk cards. They're so easy and they're really fun to decorate. So this is what I'm sharing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm reading the comments, so I'm getting distracted. <laughs> we need to get going. All right, so I'm using the gnome for the holidays. I love this and I really haven't had a chance to really use it, so that's why I'm using it on this project. And um, I'm only using this Everything Essential just for these little snowflakes. I didn't have any other one that had the snowflakes and we're only using it on the card. So that is what we're using for that. I'm using the um, stitched shapes, which I'm using just the circles. For um, the card, I'm using the larger circle and then I'm using the little circle behind him because he needed something behind him. So I'm just using the little one for that. All right, so let's start with the card we're making. This is Garden Green. And this designer series paper is a, it came back from last year. It's the Toil Tidings. So I love this paper. I actually bought two of these packs last year and this is a new pack. I used all of it. I used all of it last year except for one sheet of this one right here but I had to buy another one because I love this paper so much I just love it looks like um, courier and eyes to me and it's just so traditional the patterns are so pretty on them and it comes in um, the real red and garden green on the other side so I thought we'll do it this time in the real red since we have the garden green one here so we are going to it's just three by three, so it's six by three, and then you're just gonna score it in half. And then we're gonna use, to mat it, this is two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Thanks for sharing, Jan, hi. If I missed anybody, welcome and hello to everybody. We are going to just mat this. And guess what, I watched a bunch of videos on this Stampin' Seal, you know how I struggle with it. And I found a little trick. Um, I watched one girl and she, she actually has helped me a bunch. So I think I'm going to be good with it. Yeah, I'm glad you caught me again too, Jan. I think that's two weeks in a row, right? 
So we're just going to mat that. We are going to be coloring a lot with our Stampin' Blends. So then this is the little circle and this circle is almost two and a half inches and we're going to go ahead and stamp them with Memento Black. Hi sis. I've been doing a lot of like boxes like for grown-ups <laughs> so I thought I'm going to do something. I'm just going to stamp the edge of this for the sentiment with the sentiment. So I, this is for the other one, but that's okay. We'll share. So I'm just just stamp that. It says Holly Jolly Everything. I thought that was so cute. I'm just cutting this out by hand. Uh, let's see the card one I flagged at the end. <laughs> so, so for this one we're going to use the real red, light and dark. I'm just going to use the... I think this is my one that I used on a rhinestone. Don't use these on rhinestones <laughs> because it messes up the tip. I have done that with a few. Always use the bullet side, the other side for that. So I'm gonna use this because that's a little messed up. And then I'm just gonna shade it a little bit with the Red is one of my favorite colors, so I'm probably going to like this one better than the garden green one. And then we're just going to, this is really, really simple coloring because there's not a whole lot to color. I'm just simple coloring too. This is light soft suede and I'm doing his shoes. I love gnomes. I've been seeing them all over the place lately. I went to um, Hobby Lobby the other day and they had the cutest little gnomes. We've been in this buying Christmas stuff mood. We've been buying all kinds of Christmas. <laughs> I guess we're ready because of you know all that's been going on this year. We're just so ready for something happy. <laughs> I'm just using a little light and dark on his nose. This is the Flirty Flamingo. And then we're just going to outline with the, I think this is smoky, no, light gray granite. I'm just out, kind of outlining some of his beard and mustache. And then I'm just going to use the ivory for his hands. And that's it. I'm going to use my uh, real red ink. Ah, I love the cooler weather. I'm really, really can't wait for it. So we're adding a few snowflakes to this one. I didn't want to cut this one. I'm fussy cutting the other one for the box. So this one I thought I'd... But he's really quick coloring. All right, what did I do? My tear and tape. So when, if, for those of you who are struggling with this, I'm just kind of twisting that a little bit and then just like twisting it to, and it, it's been working really good at when you get to the end because it has this long string and that's what breaks off. Oops, we need our, this is the Forever Fern. These come together and we're using both of them. We're using this for the box and then we're using this also. So I just want to add some and I just do it kind of messily on the back here. And 
And you don't want it too far, hanging too far out, or it'll be over your card. So you just want it to peek out. I've really used the uh, metallic thread a lot here lately on a lot of projects. <laughs> Not just this one, but I also use the other thicker one. This is the thinner one. All right, we're gonna, that's enough on that. And then we're just gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit more so it sticks down. But that li little trick that um, she showed really, really has helped me. I'm less often trying to start it again. All right, so I'm gonna put him more towards the top. And then I'm going to banner this. I'm going to actually cut this a little bit narrower. And then I'm going to banner this one. All right. And then, the, oops. I guess I didn't put enough on there. I need to add a little. No, I'm going to use my stamp and sale plus on this one. This part. <laughs> it sticks to my sticking every to everything, but what what it's supposed to. All right. Now we're going to put this on here. Right at the bottom. It's really quick and easy. I love three by threes. I'm definitely going to use these. Hi, Faye. Hi, Diane. I'm missing a bunch of you. Hi, Sandy. So there's the real red and the garden green. They're both cute. I love this gnome. He's just so cute. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and stamp him again and color them really quickly again and then we'll have all that done and we won't have to uh, let's see we'll just put them right here because we're gonna fussy cut him out and then I'm gonna do this one again too we'll have everything ready it's so cute hi Jojo Thanks for sharing, Carol. If you want to share, you will get into the drawing for next week. This one we're just cutting. I'm not bannering this one. I'm not the best at cutting straight like this. All right. So that's all ready to go. Now we're going to do the exact same thing um, with the this one. I usually um, really will take my time. I have those coloring books and I can sit, sit and color them. And it's so relaxing to me, but I know a lot of people don't like to. I always hear that. <laughs> and you like to color too. Then we're just gonna fussy cut him. So we have all that ready. Let's go ahead and do the box. We got everything ready to go. Oh, except for one thing. Let's go ahead and do it while we have it. And we'll have everything ready and we'll just put it together. So here's the magnetic platform. Um, it's really thin. I don't know if any of you got have this. 
um, it's really thin and this whole thing is you know how the other one it had magnets distributed in it all around so the the dies would like jump and stuff and this does not do that this is a full magnet it's self healing and I just been turning it around so that it, I use the whole mat but I love this thing no more jumping dies it's really nice so we're going to cut oh I did already cut it <laughs> I was gonna cut it while I have it out I'll show you I'm gonna grab the little since I already have it here so you only use one plate on top of it and it's I mean it works so good I am I, I mean it just comes right off it works so good I just got it this week and look how much I've used it <laughs> you can see but I love that it's self-healing that's another really nice point all right we have everything let's go ahead and do the box it's really cute it's a little one I don't think I've ever made one this small before so for this the size of this is eight and a half by six and a half and then let me tell you what the size is for the mat matting is so there's four pieces and these are one and seven eighths by two and a quarter and then the striped one is one and seven eighths by one and three eighths you see I've even done my fall nails <laughs> I'm like ready I started and I usually don't wear dark colors but when I saw it I thought oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get that one this year <laughs> I'm doing my own so um Jan that's a good question I haven't tried it in the big shot I still have mine but I haven't used it since I got my cut and emboss I imagine you can it's the same size as the plates I am yeah I'm I think you can it's the same size as the um, the regular plates so I'm sure you can okay on the eight and a half inch side you're gonna score at one half at two and a half four and a half and six and a half and then you're going to turn it and you are going to score it at one half at two and at four and a half okay that's it oh we need to hand score though a little bit all right, so these are all two inch squares. So you are gonna mark it, and I'm only marking it right in the center here, not up at the top, but on this first score mark here. And I'm just marking the one inch mark right there. I'm just putting a little dot. And we only need to do that one, and then we need to do this one. So you're only doing two, not all four. Tell me what y'all want want to see. What kind of like do you want to see Halloween, Christmas? Do you want to see um, Thanksgiving or fall? Tell me what your favorite things that you'd want to see now. Because I'm I never know what to do. I'm so like into the holidays right now, but so we are just scoring an upside down V. So I hope you can see that right here. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So you're going from this point to this corner and from that point to that corner. And if you've made milk cartons, it's the exact same way you do it. This is just a smaller smaller bar box that, than I've ever done, I think. I don't think I've done any that smaller. You know, I know some people aren't ready for Christmas, some aren't ready, you know, for the holiday, but I mean, I can do birthday, I can do anything that, just tell me what you, what you like to see. All right, so now we are going to sharpen these. So I'm going to do them this way. 
I need to get my bone folder. So there's a, a wide variety. People are fall and Christmas, Thanksgiving. I love fall stuff too. So we're just sharpening these that we just and I'm using my bone folder to make them. So everybody is mostly holiday stuff, huh? Oh, you like men's cards, um, Karen? Okay, we're gonna do these this way. I ha I'm not good at men's cards, but I, I do work on them. I do, I do try. I have done a few nice ones. You know what's so strange is that I will do them like last minute and those are the ones that look the best. Like I'll make them like for my husband for his birthday or for Father's Day or and those are the ones and it's so funny because I'll post them on Pinterest and those are the cards that get the most shares on there. It's really strange how that works but I guess sometimes I overthink them. All right, so that's, we just cut the bottom flaps. That's what these are right here. And then we have this, um, this one here, I didn't. So this is the top edge. So we are going to put, we're going this way, right? No, we're going this way. How did I do that? <laughs> we're going this way. So I'm putting adhesive on this one. I'm gonna use tear and tape for this because tear and tape's one of my favorite, especially for boxes. And a mini loaf box. I've done one of those a long time ago, but I can do an, another one. I love doing stuff like that for like baked goods. I bake a lot. And so I do give a lot away during the holidays. And I think I'm going the wrong way on this, but we can fix it. All right. So it's like that. And then these are our bottom flaps. So I always like doing the cookie boxes in the bakery boxes Up. that time I must not have flicked it so we are going to pull that down and then this one where you have the little you just squish those in and you have your little milk carton this one's cute it's so little <laughs> oh with with little debbie cakes ah i like doing those too uh Faye. boys birthday cards <laughs> that's the first time you saw me judy judy said the first time she saw me was doing the brownie box yeah i i've done a lot of those kind it's one of my favorite actually to do. All right, so this one, I'm just punching it in the middle. This won't go through all of them, so I'm punching that one first, and then I'm going to do it on this side too. I'm just using a regular hole punch. And then I'm gonna do the center ones. <laughs> That takes a lot more. <laughs> That's how I have to get through it because I don't have, um, I, I have one of those big, I always forget what the name of it is, the one that goes through a lot of thick paper, but I don't have it handy anywhere, so. Oh yeah, I, I remember, I know which one, I like that stamp set too. <laughs> Anything that has baking on it, I always get. Um, I always order those. Those are some of the, the crocodile. that's at Carol. <laughs> I always order anything that has like tree things or baking things. It's the first ones that I order. 
because I know I'm going to use them a ton. All right, so we are tying a bow in this. I, I like this ribbon. It's so nice. It's like a gauze kind of ribbon. I'm going to cut this. Yeah, I always forget the name of that. I have one, but I have it put away. And I do, I do every once in a while gra grab it and bring it out. All right, so we're going to mat these. Sometimes I just want to use the wet glue. I feel like the wet glue is so much quicker and easier for me. But I'm getting better at this and I don't want to give up on it. <laughs> I do like the crocodile. So the red one's really cute. I, I knew I was going to like the red. I started with the garden green, but then I thought, you know, I forgot it had both side colors on these. On either side, so. And in this, if it's got a snowman on it, like for the Christmas, I usually get it. I didn't get this year's one. I It's on my wish list. But there were so many others. I love the snowman that's on the this year's one. But I just, I, I could get everything, but I just can't. <laughs> I wish I could, but. All right, and then these are going on the top. I love the milk cartons too, Patty. Patty said she likes the milk cartons. I do too. I don't care what size they are. I've made several different sizes. This one's cute though, it's little. All right, so let's get this all ready to go. Now we have our little circle and we need to add our, and this one's easy because I just tied, I just did it like around my fingers couple times and I used a glue dot I, I like to use glue dots on this because it holds it really good oh you did Parson with the new snowman I'm gonna get it yet and then I'm just making it like a bow and then we're gonna just stick it in the center there this might be a little bit bigger than I did the last one, but stay there. Let me add a little bit of, there we go. And I'm gonna, I know he is adorable and it's kind of antique -y looking to me. Kind of looks like Okay, where is my dimensionals? We're putting him on with, a dim with the dimensionals. So I'm gonna use two. Hi, Judith. So we're gonna put him on there. I did, I did make it wider. He's probably gonna hang off the edge, but it's all right. The other one hangs off too. And then we're going, I'm going to use wet glue on this one because it has the, you know what I did? I put the, um, this in between last time. <laughs> oh my goodness, I did this backwards. You know what? He's on dimensionals. We're going to take this apart because I did it wrong. And I did the circle backwards. I put him on wrong. Oops. Let's see if I can salvage this. Where's the other little circle? Let's use the other little circle that I already cut out. 
I'm glad I cut out an extra circle because I put it in the wrong I put him on the wrong side all right let's just use some my hands are all like sticky now so let's do that again I'm gonna make it smaller this time Oh, I bet that was pretty, Parson. All right, let's do this again and get it on right. So I'm talking too much. So make sure you put it on the right side. <laughs> and then we'll put him this here. I think that's a better size anyway. We're going to cut these. And now he goes on this side, on top of that. Everything's sticking to my fingers now. And then we're gonna put him on. I don't have him on straight. I'm so picky about stuff like this, but there we go. And then we're gonna put wet glue on the back. that everything is all over my fingers and then I'm going to put him up a little bit here so we can fit our sentiment on the bottom here and we're going to pop that up too hi Linda welcome And he's going to go right there. Okay. This one's even a little bit wider, but it's okay because it's a box, so it doesn't matter when you're handed. Here's the other one. <laughs> Which one you like? Do you like the green or the red? I like the red. <laughs> I'm a red person. And then here's the, the cards. Aren't they cute? And they're so fun. And it's a good one for like kids or for anybody any anyway. Aw, oh, thanks for the hearts. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you next week at the same time. Have a great week. Rest of your week. I'll see you later. Bye.